96 National Historic Site and the area surrounding 96 National Historic Site is not only significant um, to South Carolina, but it's also significant nationally. It's because of the role that it played in uh, establishing and setting our history um, associated with the American Revolution. Thaddeus Kosciuszko was Nathaniel Green's military engineer. Thaddeus Kosciuszko devised a plan to um, dig a tunnel underneath the Star Fort and take the time to get under the Star Fort far enough that he could lay explosives and thus breach the wall of the Star Fort and kill as many British soldiers as possible at the same time. It's a great story of American preservation movement. It's one of those resources that is vital to telling the story of our nation. It's the only existing uh, tunnel, military tunnel from the Revolutionary War. We have to realize that we're never going to be able to let visitors inside this tunnel. It's just not safe and it's just not stable enough to do so and it would degrade the resource. So what do we do? We have to figure out a way to provide that experience to them. We partnered with the University of South Florida and the Southeast Archaeological Conservation Center to uh, document, 3D document the inside of this tunnel and really get a good laser view, overhead view of the entire site and apply that information uh, for the inside of this tunnel not only to stabilization processes and figuring out how do we develop the best stabilization plan to make sure that this tunnel is around forever, but it also gives us 3D models. 3D models that we can use for various interpretive exhibits. Models that we can use to, to create to augmented reality experiences that are going to allow visitors to see the inside of this tunnel. Another really important part of all of this is South Carolina um, ETV was actually uh, part of the planning process instead of it being just a sort of afterthought um, which is what happens a lot of times with documentary kind of um, you know following a project or documenting a project it, it oftentimes is just shadowing as it happens um, instead in this process I think the National Park Service really um, wanted us to, to work with you guys from the, the onset of the, the planning. And so to have uh, you guys participating with us in this, I think has made all the difference because the idea is that this lives beyond just the project. So we're really interesting, interested in this partnership going forward in that we can bring all of this material back into classrooms and not just classrooms at the University of South Florida, but um, through technologies and different ways of doing things, we should be able to bring these to the world. South Carolina Educational Television, that's how we get our message out there. That's how we are able to take this message to the public. We can't do it ourselves. It takes these partnerships, these vital partnerships, that working with the folks that know how to do those specific tasks. And nobody can do it better than South Carolina Educational Television getting the word out to our students in South Carolina.